All right, so today I'm going to show you how to get Windows 10 updates until 2032 by upgrading to the IoT release version of Windows 10. This will work for both home and pro versions, but the first thing you need to do is make a backup or even clone your entire disk because we're going from 22H2 back to an enterprise version of 21H2, which is absolutely not supported by Microsoft. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So the first thing that we need to do here is change some registries so that it'll actually allow us to install it. So we need to go to HQ Local Machine, Software, we're gonna go to Microsoft, scroll all the way down until we get to Windows NT, and then click Current Version. First thing that we need to check is that Composition ID is set to Enterprise. If it's not, just double click and type in Enterprise, capital E. Then the next one is Current Build. We need to go to 1904.44 right there. And we need to do the same to the one that's below. So it's 1904.4. Then the next thing we need to do is go down to display version and go to 21H2. So then we go to edition ID and we type in IOT Enterprise S. Press OK. And then under product name, we're going to go to Windows. 10 Enterprise LTSC IOT. Press OK. And then the last one that we need to change is release ID, and we're going to go 21H2. So now we can close this, don't restart or anything. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is open up the command prompt as administrator so we can check which language is installed. We can do that by typing daism space slash online, if I can spell it, space slash get dash intl. And as we can see here, we are running English US. So now with that, we can close that. So now we can go ahead and get the download for the LTSC version. And when you're downloading, make sure you get the IoT Enterprise compared to just the Enterprise. Because the Enterprise only gets support until 2027, while the IoT Enterprise gets support until 2032. You can also see that this one matches English US. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and download the file. So now that the file is downloaded, we can turn off the internet. So then we can go into the downloads where we downloaded the file. We can double click it, open, and run the setup. And do run, yes, let it load. Then we can, yes. Then yes, we want to continue. So then we're gonna let the setup do its thing for a moment. And now we can go ahead, accept the terms, make sure it's ready to install. So now that it's done, we can see that it is going to keep the personal files and apps, and it's going to install the IoT edition, which is exactly what we want. Now, just in case it does ask you for a product key, you can always look up an IoT 2021 generic key, which will work because you're offline, so that's not an issue. Usually when you download it, the website will have one that does work. Um, you can always buy one too for like eight bucks, but it's really up to you if you want to spend the money or not. All right, and so now that we're back in and it's done installing, we can go ahead and check the version to make sure that it's correctly installed. So now if we scroll down, it says Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. So that's correct. And as we can see, our very important files are still here. Look at little Larry, he's happy. So now you get updates until 2032. All right, bye.